wear a ring for work. I'm a salesman. Salesman, con man, tomato, tomato. It's the truth. I sell to churches. You have to put on an act when you sell to churches. They want to work with family men. Christian, church-going, Bible-quoting, married men. But to them, a single guy my age is either gay or a playboy. Or a gay playboy, which is a one-way ticket to hell by some of them. They want to see that wedding ring. He's making it up as he goes along. I have to wear the ring. It's an act. This whole thing is an act. Okay. What do you sell? Oh, God. Give me a break, he sells bullshit. I'm humoring him. He's humoring you. What do you sell? Holy water. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit. It's a real business. It's Genesis Holy Water from the River Jordan. We, we bottle it in the Holy Land and then ship it to Kentucky. It, it, there's a huge market for it. Look, I do the legwork. I go to churches and I give them the sales pitch. Okay, let's hear it. You want to hear the sales pitch? Like your life depends on it. Well, I usually set up a meeting. I don't want to hear how you do it. I want to hear the pitch. Pretend like you're Greg Newman. Patron saint of liars. Like you're Greg Newman from Santa Rosa. Uh, I am Rosa. Greg Newman. Okay, that's good. See, it's feeling more authentic. It's more convincing. I'm not feeling it. Shut up. All right, look. I'll, okay, I'll give you the short sales pitch, but... You know, I, I change it. it. It's different if you're Catholic or Baptist or, or Methodist. Work with Catholic. Catholic. Salesmanship is 99% perspiration and 1% inspiration. For me, it's the other way around. When it comes to sincere marketing, inspiration to heal lost souls, thirsty souls. You see, they quench their thirst with the wrong substances. They sell supplements for everything today, but they still haven't cured deficiencies of spirit folks need is vitamin water of a much greater nature. I submit to you that every Catholic family should have holy water in the home, and it is the role of the church to put it there. Some people say the church has fallen from grace. No, sir. That's a lie. They say there's a crisis of faith. I say there's always been a crisis of faith. There's too many forces working against the side of heaven. Too much heresy is blocking the airwaves. Good people are deeply lost in the realms of the unholy. Forgive them for they know not what they do. No, sir. That just won't cut it. We can forgive them, but we cannot forgive ourselves for not showing them the way. They go with the flow. We have a different flow to offer, and it is a mighty and holy river. Genesis holy water in the River Jordan. Church should not only endorse it, but sell it. Wholesale. And believers will cross over to our side as those who crossed the River Jordan to hear the Lord preach, and they were healed. When the enemies of the Lord sought to capture him, Jesus took refuge in the River Jordan, where John had first baptized him. When all people were baptized and Jesus was at prayer, the skies opened and the Holy Spirit descended. Luke, chapter 3, verse 21. Are you fucking serious? He knows his lines. You have a Bible here to test it? No. So then you are the fool who walketh in the darkness. Book of Casper, chapter 3, verse 9. Well, it sounds pretty good to me. Of course, it sounds good. He's a con artist, and he's brilliant at it. Hats off. I don't know, man. Nobody talks to talk like that unless they do it for a living. Con artists do. That's why he managed to steal four million from the Roman. You can Jesus me till the holy cows come home. I ain't buying it for a second. 